Our word of the day, our word of the day comes from the book. From Psalm 63, verse 1. And it says, O oh God, you are my God. Early I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. Amen. You know, David was in the wilderness when he when he wrote this song and and he was talking about how he was just, you know, in the desert. And we know in the desert there's no water, there's it's just dry and but he sees that, you know, I think he might have thought he could he didn't he couldn't feel the presence of God. And sometimes we feel like we can't feel the presence of God, but God is is always there. He doesn't, you know, he never leaves us nor forsake us. And even though David was feeling this way, he was still crying out and seeking the Lord, which is exactly what we should do as well. So I'm going to read 63 verses 1 to 4. Um and it says, O oh, oh God, you are my God. Early I will seek you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a dry and thirsty land where there is no water. So I have looked for you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus, I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your names. Even though David was going through these battles right now, he was still praising the Lord. He was still putting his trust in him. He was still crying out to him for his comfort, his peace. And we should follow David's example and do the same. When things are tough, we cry out to him and lift up our hands and praise his name. As long as we shall live, we should just trust and have faith in the Lord. And this is all about, and if we don't have this kind of faith that David had, we ask God to give it to us and he will. In Psalms 84, verse 2, it says, My soul longs, yes, even faint, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Let our hearts long for the Lord. Let us just look to him. We know that things are not going exactly the way the world is planning it. Things are starting to fall apart even more and more as we speak. But we know the answer to all of this is trusting in the Lord, crying out to him. If we cry out to him and change from our ways, he will heal our lands. He will bless us. He will give us the peace that we need. But we have to continue to pray for our country and for ourselves, and for our friends. And we know that by his stripes, we will be healed. We will be blessed. Praise the Lord. And Matthew 5, verse 6 says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. We will be filled. No doubt about it. God is going to bless us. He's going to protect us. Just like in Psalms 91, thousands may fall on the left and 10,000 on the right, but it will not come near you because we stand on the righteousness of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In Psalms 118, verse 28, it says, You are my God, and I will praise you. You are my God. I will exalt you. This day, in our, fan, in our Sabbath day of rest today, Honor the Lord, praise the Lord, and rest in him today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Lord, we just thank you for this, for these words. We thank you to just and continue to encourage us that you know everything, that you see everything, and you are in charge and control of everything in our lives. We just need to continue to put our faith and our trust and to continue to cry out to you and do not let anything keep us from the living God. And so we just pray that um, you bless our day today. This is the Sabbath day of rest, holy to you. And we just um, give you all our sorrows, our pains, our burdens, our issues, everything today. We are not to carry them today. We have to surrender them to you, leave them wherever they are, and just trust in you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you all and have a wonderful day in the Lord.